Hey, it's Ryan. We're doing another upgrade on the Norden. As you can see, uh, it's going to be some dbparts.com upper crash bars. We just finished the heavy duty skid plate install, which I think went really well. If you haven't checked that video out um, and you would like to, feel free. Uh, I think this will be a great combo with that skid plate and these upper crash bars. These are super lightweight. Um, I think it'll get us ready for some tip overs, um, hit the California, Northern California um, BDR routes. And uh, yeah, uh, I won't ramble too much longer. Obviously, this is what comes in the kit. The other one's on the floor for the other side. You get the bubble mailer. It has all the hardware. Uh, it doesn't look like too much in the instructions. I think there's six steps or something like that. So we'll try and make this quick. See if this is the route you want to go for your Norton. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Here's everything that comes in the kit. Both crash bars, the bracket, bag of hardware, and then the bag on the right-hand side is bar sliders. We'll see how those look. I don't plan on putting those on, but we'll see. And uh, this also comes in the kit. It's the instruction manual, aluminum trail crash bars. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. Um, list of your parts there. Um, so this is what I'm gonna be using. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So we're looking at the left-hand side of the bike. Step one of the instructions calls for removing two bolts one here on the left side and then the matching one which is going to be over there on the right hand side of the bike okay here's the completed steps um, number two and three so the brackets on um, so just a recap here's the support arm coming in uh, we remove the uh, stock bolt put the bracket on and then replace it with the hardware that comes in the kit um, and just like i said before it's just rinse and repeat so you do the same thing on the left side as you do the right side and I'll take the camera underneath so you can see what the bracket looks like. So here's the bottom side, and like I said earlier, this is the completion of steps two and three. So we're pretty much halfway done already. All right, moving on to step four, removing the stock hardware here, but the instructions call for um, keeping the rubber bushing that's in there. And uh, just like the other parts, same for the left and the right side. Here's the left side mounted to the bike. In the kit, uh, there's two um, longer bolts that replace the stock hardware. The longer side is gonna be on the left. Um, you can see the bar itself has um, like a built-in spacer. Um, the right-hand side does not have that. So I'll show that once it's on there. Here's the left side mounted up front. Again, the bracket we first installed. And then we're attaching the bar itself here. And there's a washer and a nut on the inside. Here's the inside view of the left hand side you can see the washer and the nut there and then i'm going to go ahead and jump to the left side here and we should be done here's with the left and right side mounted on the sides and the front the last step of the instructions is just the uh the two bolts here that hold the front pieces together all right so the final two bolts are in i'm going to get the bike outside so we can have a better look at the final product Here's the finished product, the dbparts.com crash bars. Uh, just the upper crash bars. I think it looks, I think it looks super good with the um, the heavy duty skid plate that we plasti dipped. Uh, again, that's a different video if you want to check it out. Oh, the color shifting on me just because of the uh, kind of overcast out here. Try and give you a walk around. So the, uh, the only thing left is to uh, go for a ride and put ourselves in a spot and tip over and see how they hold up. Um, but I think they look good. Easy install. The price was right. Shipping was good. Instructions were okay. <laughs> a little bit of... Uh, I'd like to see a little more detail, um, but hopefully this video helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll link the... Um, the website in the description and uh as always thanks for watching and uh shoot any questions you have i'll be happy to help you out